Hey, and welcome back to the first ever and only vlog, 996 The Howl Vlog. I'm going to the Arizona Coyotes versus Toronto Maple Leafs game tonight at Scotiabank Arena. And the hardest part is deciding what to wear. But, you know, first we'll do a sneak peek here. I got the 60 game board up and ready for Saturday. Obviously the record is incorrect. That's just a placeholder. But yeah, a little bit of inside baseball there. And then we go to, what are we going to wear? Uh, probably not white. This is the Keller All-Star jersey from last year. Oh, I'm terrible at these, Keller. Uh, yeah, not going to wear white in case I spill something or someone spills something on me. You always got to be prepared about being in the visitors arena, I got the two howling heads. I believe the only jersey missing here is my Domi jersey. That is also the red howling jersey that's in my hockey bag. I wear it when I play outdoor hockey. This is my prize possession. Love this one. Love this Kachina jersey. My home Kachina jersey is vintage. I never really upgraded it. Still says Phoenix on it if you see that in the videos. I still haven't pulled the trigger on the new modern ones and then just added this one recently. I'll probably go with this one. Just matches my beanie. It's not white. And if, God forbid, something spills on it, uh, probably not be seen. And then, you know, another sneak peek. My tank commander did a couple of videos in this two seasons ago. Maybe we'll see an appearance soon. Probably going to go with the red Arizona jersey with a hoodie underneath. It's a bit cold, negative five. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. All right, on the way to the arena, just found out Keller's not playing. So that makes it even worse than a 13 game losing streak. Pretty anxious about this one, even though they're icing probably one of the better teams I've seen live. Uh, they're just in a bad spot mentally. So not sure how it's gonna go. Hopefully it's a close game. See you guys later. We're approaching the arena here, and what you can see from this segment and a couple clips right after is not everyone is wearing a hockey jersey, more specifically a Leafs jersey. I would say it's probably about 70%, 30%. 70% wearing it, 30% not wearing it. Just a unique thing. Maybe in Toronto, I know in Arizona, a lot of people wear their Coyotes jerseys, a lot of just going out clothes, some people in suits, a little lower near the glass areas. I did find a Cooley jersey that was up for auction. That was a nice surprise to find. Here I am at my seats and you can't really see it clearly, but I'm trying to zoom in on a sign here and it says um, here for Uncle Mike, number 53. So obviously I'm assuming that's for Carcone, maybe at his nephews here or nieces for the game, so that was nice to see. Some warm-ups, some shots on Connor Ingram. Still anxious about the game at this moment. And then we see a Coyotes jersey with Matthews on the back. This was ridiculous. And I saw on Twitter that the broadcast showed him as well. Just funny stuff. You see the tail end here of Ingram's huge save in the first period and Giordano's injury. I like the Coyotes the first 10 minutes in the game. They escaped the first five minutes of not laying a goal in. So this calmed my nerves here seeing the Coyotes play well. And then we'll get into the fight. That was a great fight, really electric, got the crowd into it. At the end of the first period, I liked the Coyotes, how they played. It was pretty even, battling, both teams got chances. But in the second period, the game just fell apart for the Coyotes. Rarely in the Leafs zone for the second period, it was all Leafs and the Nurs were coming. They were down three nothing. Thankfully, Kerfoot got that shorthanded goal late in the second period, which gave them the momentum 
for a great third period, which I thought was an unbelievable period by the Coyotes to come out, pl dominate play, play all the time in the third, in the lease end. Uh, they almost got it, but uh, they made the night worthwhile. Well, that makes it 14. Really loved their game in the third, even first period. They just lost that one in the second period. Rough game. You got to build on it. I think if Keller was in the lineup, probably would have won that game. But uh, maybe more high quality shots. And uh, at least they made it close. It was a great game to watch. Definitely was not a waste of time, even though it was looking like it at 3 nothing. Go Yotes!